Happy Thursday, my internet peeps. I hope you all had an awesome hump day. I know I had a pretty good one. And now it is Thursday, which means it's almost Friday, which means it's basically the weekend. So it is almost time to party, people. So I know you can't see it because I'm wearing a seatbelt and everything like that, but I'm supposed to be running our staff meeting today for my boss. So, and very appropriately, I'm wearing a shirt that says, teamwork is a lot of people doing what I say. And you know what? I couldn't agree more with that. So hopefully no one yells at me for wearing this, but I think it's pretty funny. So I had an idea yesterday, and I decided that this weekend I am going to go crazy at the house. I am going to rip carpet out, I'm going to put tile down, and we'll see how, how much I actually end up getting done. There's one thing that I really, really want to get done, which is upstairs, at the top of the stairs, there's a little hallway that you walk through in order to get to the bedroom. Um, that carpet I want gone. So that is the goal, like that will happen. Um, the other thing that I would like to do, and it really depends on time, is take the carpet off the stairs. That is a bit more difficult and requires, you know, a lot more cutting of things, but I think I could do it fairly quickly because I need to put, you know, a little bit of subfloor down on all the treads, um, but that should be easy because I have a table saw, so I should just you know, set the barrier to the right, you know, length, and then I should be able just to rip a bunch of pieces of subfloor to put down and screw it down, and then I should be good to go to start laying the tile. So, maybe, if I'm like uber, uber, uber productive on Saturday, I might not only get the, the hallway, but I might also get the stairs. Now, this also leads to another problem, because that hallway also has got a door leading into the upstairs bathroom. And I took the carpet out of the upstairs bathroom because carpet in a bathroom is stupid. Um, but I didn't lay down a new subfloor, and I should have. So I need to rip that tile out because obviously the hallway is going to flow straight into it, and there'll be different heights without you know it having a subfloor. Uh, so that is a semi can of worms in the sense that there's also a closet in that upstairs bathroom. So I have to empty the closet in order to put subfloor down. And and redo the floor, and that's, ugh, I don't want to do that. So, we'll see, I may, I may put off the bathroom redo for another weekend since it's already got, you know, something down. So we'll just have to see. Uh, but I will definitely be taking videos, because you know I love making DIY videos. And yeah, hopefully we'll see. I'll have music blasting on the stereo, and we'll just see how far we get. Day's over, guys, and I'm home. Well, I'm not really home. I'm walking to the studio because today's Thursday, and Thursday means recording for Buzz Throwdown. Um, this is actually going to be a pretty cool episode. I've already read the script. Um, it sounds pretty fun, and we get to find out who killed Chet this episode, so you guys should definitely watch it. So today is also going to be fun because we're going to be recording in the real recording studio, not just um, our little ghetto recording booth that we have. Awesome. I'm recording. Okay guys, so we're doing something different this time. We're not gonna record in our little ghetto sound booth that we do for ourselves. Um, we actually have a real sound recording equipment because we share this space with... The Study. The Study, they call themselves. And check this out, we got like real legit, this is Adam by the way, like legit sound equipment and like a real, I don't think I've ever really seen this sound booth actually. What does it look like inside? Awesome. Does it look like pure awesomeness? Of course it does. Check this out guys, oh that's craziness. Mm -hmm. Josh and Adam put like I don't, I don't how long did guys take to build this? Yeah, Josh and Adam built this. Uh, yeah. It took us probably like three weeks to get it like. Yeah. yeah, it's its own like crazy soundproof structure. It's crazy. Yeah, it's really good. We have a bitch of a train that passes by, and you can't hear the train inside here. Yeah, it's there's really a train nice. that passes by. So no, this it's is a bitch of a train. Bitch of a train, and this is meant to withstand the train. On the fucking horn. <laughs> <laughs> Your detective skills are shit. One more time, you kind of flurbed. Ugh. No, fat, like, ugh. Ugh. Shorter. Ugh. <laughs> That'll do. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, that's the end of my part. So what'd you think about it? That was, that was actually really cool. It's creepy quiet in there. 
Like you can't hear anything. Yeah, it's really what, awesome. This is what happens when I decide to say, you know what, I think I need help with audio. And Adam's been like telling me, dude, you need to fucking spend money on audio because yeah, we got all this stuff here. Yeah, it's pretty badass. I we already know. spent all the all the majority of the cost for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, it'll be interesting to see how the audio is on yes. this. Yeah, so I, gonna this gonna is really going to be a pretty cool episode. I'm like, excited to see what this episode's up to. Me too. Hope we get more views. It's going to be a neat episode. Yeah, you know what? We need a social media intern. We do. Does anyone want to be a social media intern? It pays it $5. Pays, dollars. It pays $0. A year. But it could give you school credit if you wanted it. As yeah. an intern. If you're like a marketing student or something. Right. Something like right. Okay, so that's it. That's Anything it. else here? I don't know. i got to go out there and grab them. All right. Alrighty, guys. That was actually an insanely quick session. I didn't have a lot of parts this time. <laughs> Sorry, someone, one of the actors just shouted at me throughout a window. Oh, he's driving by. <laughs> um, I didn't have very many lines this time because I didn't actually give my tech buzz report. Um, but you'll see why. Uh, when you watch the episode on on Saturday, which you will watch it and share it with all your friends. Now I'm off to walk Koda and then eat dinner and then watch TV. All right, dinner time, guys, and I'm gonna try something a little bit different today. I'm going to, instead of just having a salad, I'm going to make a chicken salad wrap. I've got these low-carb tortillas that my dietitian suggested, and so I'm gonna make my normal chicken salad ingredients stuff, whip them all up, um, I'm going to heat up a tortilla, wrap it all in there, and um, tasty wrap. Or at least that is the theory, is that it will be a tasty wrap. We'll see how it ends up working out. Okay guys, so I've heated up a tortilla and I've melted some cheese into it. I will add my chicken, and then add my salad with some feta cheese, and just some candy walnuts for tastiness. thinking this is not all going to fit. Maybe I should have made two wraps and split it up. Okay guys, I had to empty a bunch back into the bowl, which I'll just eat separate from this, but it doesn't quite all fit still, but it's actually really, really good. I'll definitely have to make this again sometime. 